Hello everyone and welcome to the channel and today I have very exciting news the magic editor of Google Photos is now available on Samsung devices and I have it here on my S24 Ultra you should also expect it coming to iOS devices which I will create a separate video about when it gets released we all know that this feature was exclusive to the Pixel 8 models but Google decided to push it to everyone so in this video I will show you how to use it on your Samsung phone and if it's any better than your Galaxy AI editing tools so without further Further ado, let's jump in. Let me start by talking about how to get Magic Editor on your non pixel device. Unfortunately, there isn't much you can do about it because it's a server side update that Google is gradually pushing to everyone. And let me give you an example here I'm not even running the latest version of Google Photos, but I still have access to Magic Editor, which proves that it's a server side update. But from experience, let me tell you that Google One subscribers usually get access to these features faster than anyone else, which is something to keep in mind. Even though the feature is going to be available to all Google Photos users, but there are some restrictions and requirements that are worth mentioning that you can find on Google's support page. It says here that you will get 10 edits free of charge every month. But if you want unlimited edits, that's when you need to subscribe to the Google One 2 terabyte plan which means if you are on the free tier 100 gigabytes and the 200 gigabytes plans you still don't get the unlimited edits or if you are a pixel user you will get unlimited edits anyways but let me tell you a sneaky way to get unrestricted access to magic editor without the need to pay anything for 60 days all you need to do is to download the gemini app and then the profile menu head over to upgrade to gemini advanced this will give you 60 days completely free of a charge with the two terabyte plan of storage. So you will get unlimited access to do all the pending edits and then downgrade back again to your original tier. And maybe the 10 edits per month are enough for a lot of people. And when it comes to the system requirements, they are fairly low. All you need is a phone with a 64 bit chipset with at least four gigabytes of RAM and Android eight and up, which is not a problem for a lot of people. Now let's move on to the next section on how to use Magic Editor in case you never did. And I will use this example photo of the Cybertruck. As you see, it's a huge car. So I'm gonna try to make it a mini Cybertruck with the Magic Editor. All you need to do is to tap on edit and then tap on the glowing Magic Editor button at the bottom left corner. But keep in mind that your photo should be backed up to your Google account to be able to use the feature, which is another way for Google to push you towards the subscription. But anyways, let's take a look on how it works. To select anything, you can either tap on it, draw a circle around it, or you can brush it like this. You have an undo button at the bottom left corner, which will allow you to return back one step in case you made a mistake, which is very handy. You can also pinch to zoom to make precise selections. And if you want to move around the photo, you need to use two fingers because, because if you used only one finger, it will brush things. So when you pinch to zoom, use two fingers to move around. And if you want to make a selection, just use the same techniques. But you also have the ability to adjust your selection precisely by tapping on the adjust selection menu. Here you can add more by choosing the add option or subtract to remove things from the selection. But I'm only interested to select the cyber truck for now. So I'm going to go back, tap on it and then tap and hold to resize it and move it around. But for some reason, this feature freezes a lot on the S24 Ultra. And as you see, when I tap and hold, it doesn't allow me to do anything. But if I want to get around this, I need to get back, reopen the magic editor one more time. And when you try again, it will work like this. Then you can pinch to zoom to make things bigger, smaller, move up, move down. But the only thing I don't like in Magic Editor is the inability to rotate items, which is something you can do in Samsung editing tools. But let me make this car much smaller and then tap on the arrow to see the results. Now it's done and it gave me multiple options to choose from. And if I didn't like any of them, I can regenerate a new set of results, which is an advantage over Samsung AI tools that only give you one option. You have a button here also at the top right corner that will allow you to compare between the original and the edited photos, and you can pinch to zoom to better see the results. And I think I like this one because it makes the Cybertruck very tiny next to the trees, which looks very funny. Once you are done with the changes, you can tap on the tick button at the bottom right corner and it will do your edits. 
But this is not everything. You can also select things to remove. So for example, I want to remove the steering wheel from the Cybertruck to make it fully autonomous driving. So I'm gonna select the steering and then tap on erase, give it some time and let's take a look at the results. And here's how the fully autonomous Cybertruck interior looks. As you see, you have nothing to do inside the car other than resting your hand on this thing and enjoy what's going on around you. And lastly, you might see this glowing magic stick when you try to edit certain photos, which will give you more styling options. In this case, it's suggesting to convert it into a portrait, adjust the sky or change it into a golden hour. So let's tap on a sky as an example. It will take a few seconds and then it will give you multiple options to choose from. Here's the first one, the second, the third and the fourth and you still can regenerate more if you want. And we made it to the third section which I will compare the quality and the features of Samsung's AI editor versus Magic Editor. Starting with the quality here is the first example. In this photo, I want to make myself smaller. In this case, a portion of my legs doesn't even exist. So let's see which one will give more convincing results. Both took 16 seconds to finish the same edit and you will see the time elapsed in all examples I will show you in this video. When it comes to the results, Samsung Gallery didn't know what to do. So it put a wooden box in front of me and called it a day while Google Photos amazingly drew the missing portion and it looks much more convincing. Plus, I got multiple options to choose from, unlike the only option offered by Samsung Gallery, so the win goes to Google Photos for the higher quality, more options in the same 16 seconds. Moving to the second scenario, and here I want to completely remove myself, which is very challenging in this example, as there are a lot of things to fill using AI, like the water, the trees, the trees reflections on the water, so let's see the results. Once more, Samsung Gallery didn't know what to do, so it generated a bright green grass over the bottom half, which looks very odd when compared to the rest of the trees in terms of color and looks. While Google Photos once more did it extremely well, it generated similar trees, the water, and the reflections of the generated trees on the water, which is insane. And the same applies to all other options, so once more, Google Photos is the best. In the last example, I wanted to remove myself, keeping only my son. But as you see, I'm physically putting my hands on his shoulders, which could be challenging for both to do. So let's give it a try. Samsung Gallery did relatively well this time when compared to the previous examples, but it still has a noticeable error, which is the weird white piece next to my son's neck. Google Photos also had some errors around the shoulders in the first option. In the second one, it also made the left shoulder a bit too high, but the third iteration was almost perfect, which is why having multiple options becomes very handy sometimes. So overall, Google Photos is the king when it comes to the quality. Features-wise, Samsung Gallery gives you more. It has three features that Magic Editor lacks, like the ability to rotate images and let the AI fill in the gaps, and surprisingly, this feature has much better quality in generating things because when you look at my leg, it was able to generate the missing part, which it couldn't do before. The second one is the ability to add other stuff like people or objects from other photos to the one you want to edit. And lastly, you don't only get the option to resize and position, but you can also rotate, which is missing from Google Photos. The only special thing you get with Google Photos is the styling options that I talked about at the beginning of the video, which I don't often use. So to sum up, Google Photos has much better quality and flexibility in the generated results, while Samsung's AI is more towards the features, but with less quality. So having both options on your phone is a huge plus. So that's pretty much it for today. That was my review and the comparison of Magic Editor on Samsung phones. So please let me know your questions and opinions in the comments below. But for now, thanks so much for watching and see you in the next video.